Here we are, Sydney, Ohio. There's Alec right there. Hello. I haven't seen him in a while. We just came down to visit him this weekend, so we're gonna go into one of our favorite type of restaurants. I don't know if you can see the sign back Mexican. there. Yay, Mexican. And you'll have to excuse the noise. We're right by a main road here, so let's go check it out. Here's food. What do we got? Oh, this is queso fundito with chorizo. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. And we also got some chips and salsa, and we have some chimichangas on order. So how is the the cheese dip? Is it good? good. Yeah. Awesome. I'll have to give it a taste. Again, again, we always forget to take a video before we start eating. <laughs> that cheese dip was fantastic. <laughs> it was really good, wasn't it? Really good. Now we got a chimichanga for sharing. Got some there. We already cut into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What this happened? Plate, this plate is on fire. <laughs> it is on fire. Would they cook it in the plate or I what? I don't know. I think so. But it is ridiculously hot. I can't even touch it. <laughs> and Lori's got a plate of lettuce and tomatoes. Yes. What do you think, Lori? Well, if this is any indication as to how good it was, we scarfed everything down. Well, except for the last little oh, bit of bean dip here. You but can handle that, can't you? Yes. Wow. It was really spectacular. And if you know anything about us, we like Mexican. This one scores pretty high up. Gives a two thumbs up. Here we are. Saturday. How do we get in here? It says please use sidewalk. What sidewalk? <laughs> <laughs> I think this sidewalk. This way. <laughs> Armstrong Air and Space Museum. Let's go check it out. There's Lori in the space suit over there. <laughs> now Neil Armstrong had a lifetime love of aviation. His first experience in there. Okay, anyway. Look at that. Pretty cool. Well, this was Neil Armstrong's hometown. Oh, was it really? Yeah, that's why the uh, the museum's here. Oh, I didn't so, know that. Look yeah, that. look at that. So anyway, I'm not going to bore you with videotaping the entire museum, but it's in Wapakoneta, Ohio. We didn't even know it was here. We just were driving by on our way to see Alec and we saw it on the side of the highway. Right. We thought, hey, let's check it out. All right, well, let's go. There you go. There's Neil Armstrong's spacesuit. Pretty cool. I think the most interesting thing about the spacesuit that I just learned is about the gloves. Yeah, the gloves have flashlights, little flashlight bulbs in the ends of the fingertips. Look how simple the helmet was, though. I mean, it wasn't really that crazy. No, it's very simple. Yeah? And then over here we have thrusters that are used on the Gemini. Probably for, what would that be, maneuvering in space? Probably. Look, there's somebody landing on the moon. Oh, it's Alec. Oh my god. <laughs> he's awful fat and short for... <laughs> Let's look in here. Let's see. This is how the astronauts go to the bathroom in the space capsule. Let's see the process for poop. It says here, to defecate, an astronaut attaches a special bag with an adhesive coating to his buttocks. The astronaut then guides the waste into the bag with his fingers. He places a capsule of germicide into the bag, seals it, and kneads it, kneads the contents. <laughs> and the bag is placed in storage. That sounds like some fun right there. It feels like you could just fall over the edge. Freaky. It's very freaky. What'd you think? It's pretty cool. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Yeah, yeah. it was really It's really small, customer. but there's a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, it's only $8, so, I mean, it's pretty cheap. Well, it's really cool to think that he was born here and grew mm -hmm. up here. Such a small town, and for him to be such an important astronaut. Yep. Alright, you ready? Yes, let's go. Well, where are we at? We're at a winery. 
Yeah, which winery? It's AR Winery. It's yeah. In what town? Where is this? Something Anna? What is this? <laughs> Hold on. We don't know where we are. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's that. I don't even know if you can even focus on that. That right there. Anna Arcanum. Arcanum. <laughs> Arcanum. Arcanum, Ohio. Okay. Yes. Now that Alec mm -hmm. is 21, he's becoming quite the wine connoisseur. The wine snob is what he's <laughs> become. Snob. Yeah. And the beer snob. Yes. It's a pretty nice place. Let's check it out. I wouldn't expect this from the outside. And these are dry wine. Pizza oven down there. I guess it would be small pizza oven and stuff like that. So. Oh, speak of the devil. Here he is. Oh, look oh, who's accompanying him. Oh my gosh. They have the funnest names for wine. Oh my gosh, my favorite name. Okay, let me see. Pine in my apple. <laughs> I love it. We got some really interesting wines. Whoa, hitting the table. I have um, caramel apple and berry. Oh, and I was boring. I have one that's just a white grape with hints of pineapple, but you have some really interesting ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got Speakeasy, which is a dry Concord. There's one, the El Nino Tropical one. They say that it changes flavors, so we'll see. There's supposed to be three tropical flavors that hit you all separately. Awesome. Okay, which one is that? This one is the Lock, Stock, and Berries. It's a blend of sweet blackberry, blueberry, and red raspberry, and it is fantastic. It is really sweet, but it has a really good flavor. You know what I love? The sound of that fire going right now. Mm -hmm. It sounds so nice. Okay, I'll tell you if it's good. <laughs> See, because we have all different ones. So, okay. Oh, that is really nice. Mm -hmm. You can taste all the different berry flavors. That's lovely. It's pizza time. We ordered a pizza. Ooh, look at that. The pepperoni's underneath of the pizza. Or underneath the pizza, underneath the cheese. <laughs> yeah. It's wood fired. Looks pretty good. Here's the pizza. Look at that. That looks delicious. Definitely won't eat it all. Take some home for leftovers. Parmesan cheese, please. So, fellas, we came here just to do a little bit of wine tasting, and what happened? We got a pizza. Yeah, because they have a wood-fired stove over there, and we just couldn't resist. It sounded really good, and for some reason, I'm really hungry today. Yeah, so, and so how is it? It's really good. It's really hot, though. I can't can't really eat it, can't but I did it. eat one piece, and it is really good. Okay, dude, so we are just driving back from going to the, the winery. winery. Yeah, we are in Arcanum. Arcanum, yeah, Ohio, and we just passed this mill, this Bears Mill. Now, we were just passing by and we saw it and we're like, man, that looks familiar. I don't know how many years ago, probably when I was like 11 or 12 years old, right. we took a little trip out here and went to this grist mill because it was really cool. Yeah, just me and Alec on the motorcycle. And we just, we just drove right by and found it just out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm like, oh my God, look at that. <laughs> it was so weird. So, yeah, it's called Bears Mill. They here, let me see. 1849. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool inside. They're closed, unfortunately, now. And, and it is flooded like crazy today. That's yeah. that might be why they're closed. Yes. Well, no, it's a Saturday, so they might be closed. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you can see here's the, here's the race right here. Oh my gosh. Crazy, huh? There might not be enough distance. But this is actually, when we were here, this is actually a functioning mill. I mean, they have a water powered grist mill that actually grind their own stuff here, yeah. and you can buy it. It's really yeah. sweet. Now that's a beautiful little fire right there. And it feels good because it's nice and cold out here. Yeah, what do you think? It's in the 40s? Got to be in the 40s, but Low there's no 40s. there's no wind at all, so that yeah. makes it a lot better. Yeah, it's really, really lovely. Yep. Yeah, we're so ex so happy that we were able to visit with Alec here in his apartment in Versailles, Ohio. Yeah, I'm here for a co-op. Um, I'm actually working at Midmark, which they are right over there. Yeah, yeah it's really tough to work. <laughs> over at Midmark when you have to walk to work for four minutes to get to work every day, huh, Alec? <laughs> oh, it's rough. <laughs> yeah, so. But Alec's co-op is going awesome. He's doing electrical engineering this time around. And you know we couldn't be more proud of the guy. Oh, thank you. All right, so we'll say goodnight tonight. See you guys. All right, bye. Night.